This morning in the Lodge Kitchen I'm going to be making a frittata. I'm making mine with leek, red pepper, red onion and some wild garlic that I've got growing in the garden here. You can use spinach instead. Um, you can put in whatever vegetables you like really. What you need for the uh, frittata is an oven proof frying pan and uh, some eggs, a little bit of butter and rapeseed oil. And I've set my oven to 180 or you can put it under a hot grill to finish it off. Um, but well, I'll show you exactly what to do in a minute. So I've just washed the leek, um, split it down the middle so that it opens it up so that it takes out all the dirt from there. I'm just going to slice that just quickly into thinnish rounds. As I say, you can make this from whatever you want. I'm doing a veggie one today, but you can do it with meat, uh, sausage, bacon, ham, mushroom, cheese, whatever you want to put on it, you can put on it. Let's get that butter melting. So I'll put a little bit of butter in there and a touch of Yorkshire rapeseed oil as well. Just a little, just so that it coats the bottom of the pan when we put the, um, the eggs into it. So get that going and we're going to cook these veggies. So get your leeks in along with the red onion. Just going to slice that into thin wedges like so. That can go into, break that up into it and probably half of this red pepper because it's quite a big one. So cut it in half, you can use that little bit, we'll discard the uh, stalk, take out all of the seeds and the membrane and I'm going to cut that into just thin slices like so. So you can just, whatever you've got in your fridge, make up exactly what you fancy to go into your frittata. Let's just chop that bit up too. I'll be doing videos as well on how to chop safely, um, use knife skills, as well as other sort of essential cooking ideas too. So I'll just let those cook for about, probably about 10 minutes, just till they're softened up. And then we'll add the wild garlic and then add in the eggs. Vegetables are almost cooked now, so I'm going to add wild garlic to it. it grows in the um, fields, or in, sorry, in the hedgerows, just like this. You just strip out the stalks. They're just a little bit stringy, but you can save those to put in soups and things like that. And then I'm just going to bundle it all together, give it a chop, just roughly. Get those bits too. It looks a lot, but it will um, break down very quickly, much like spinach does when you cook it. So that's going to go in with the vegetables. So it's absolutely loaded this now, really full of goodness. And then just Stir that in to your veg to let it wilt down, like so. So pretty much as I said, like spinach, it just does break down. It's not as watery as spinach though, so it's quite good for doing this because spinach sometimes can be a bit leave a sort of watery residue in things. Wild garlic doesn't do that as much. So that's almost cooked down now. I'm just going to add a little bit more oil into there just so that it's enough to, as I said before, coat the bottom of the pan for when we put the eggs in. Just needs to make sure it's not going to stick um, when you add your eggs to it. So just a little bit in there. And then what we'll do is we'll get these eggs 
and a bowl and just crack those all in. Six and season them well. You can add, make it bigger, add more eggs if you like. Six is about enough. I'm very lucky. I've got neighbours who um, have chickens so I can get my eggs from them. Chasing a bit of shell around there. I'm just going to wash my hands and got eggs on them. Just going to season those eggs really well with some black pepper and some salt. You can add herbs into this too if you like. Anything, just whatever you've got. Whisk those together just so they're nicely mixed together. And then that simply pours in over your vegetables like so. And then just make sure it's all thoroughly mixed in. Looks really good already. I'm just going to cook that gently just to set the bottom of that frittata. Then I'm going to put it into my oven, um, which is set at 180 for roughly about 10 minutes until it's just cooked through and all puffed up. Of course, you can add cheese onto the top of it. You could crumble in some feta. You could put Parmesan on top, cheddar, anything. Anything that's sort of looking a bit old in your fridge, um, put it in because it's, when it's cooked, it tastes delicious. It obviously doesn't look very appetizing when it's, when it's not cooked, but put it into a frittata and it'll all taste really nice. So I'll just give that a little blast of heat, set it on the bottom and then in it goes and cooks for about 10 minutes just till it's all cooked through. So my frittata's had about 10 minutes, a little bit more in the oven, so I'm just going to grab it out now. That looks great. So you can see it's puffed up nicely. Always be really, really careful when you do this because it's very easy to forget that that pan handles hot. So some people say put a little bit of flour on it. What I usually do is just make sure I leave a tea towel or oven glove over it so that I'm not going to um, burn myself. And I probably have done quite a few times in the past. So first thing we need to do is just to release it from around the side. Now I'm going to flip it out onto this board. So if you just get a, a spatula and just make sure it's moving and then you know that you're going to be able to flip it. Get a really good hold of that. I'll get my board and just tip it out. So there we go. There we have our leek, wild garlic, red pepper and red onion frittata. I'm just going to get a knife take a slice out of that so you can have a look. It should be cooked all the way through. Whoops. Nicely cooked. I'll turn that around so that you can see it. There we go. And I'll get out the cost salad and dress that to go on the plate with it. I'm just going to dress this salad. I've got my salad dressing here. Pour some of that or all of it over the top and toss it together. And then that goes with your frittata or anything else for that matter. So to see how to make this salad, there's another video on YouTube. I'll just pop that on there and there you have it. A really nice frittata with marula salata. Salata. Marula salata.